Let's start with the ones we learned as kids. Don't waste water. Your kitchen and your bathroom and your laundry room, three places where you use water all the time. Remember, don't let the water run. Only thing John Link Stein runs is the Freshwater Society. He's executive director. Water should only flow when you want it to. He says another way to save water is by checking for leaks both outside and inside your home. If you put a drip, a drop or two of food coloring in the in the tank of your toilet, it'll come through and as a leak, you'll see the color in the bowl. In the kitchen, there could be a simple fix like replacing washers within the faucet. See your washers will be uh, underneath here. And while we're here, John says when washing dishes by hand, don't fill up the whole sink. Take a couple of containers like these, but wash in one, rinse in the other. Dishwashers that are newer tend to be most efficient. Just don't run them until they're full. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, consider changing your diet. What we buy, meat, uses far more water to produce than vegetables. So a higher vegetable diet a lower meat diet is good for saving water. And speaking of letting things go. Garden like this, this is a stressed uh, perennial. Some people will water these and they'll perk up or you can just leave them and they'll come back next year. Kaya Edwards, CARE 11 News. A lot of gardens looking like that. Well, Freshwater Society offers free inspections for leaks or check with your municipality. It's possible they offer free inspections as well.